Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. As promised, we putting out some limb hooks. Um, I just got out and I put two what I call job poles. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna pull up there and put some hooks on them. I caught a couple of decent catfish right here last year. So that's why, and there was two job poles still there from last year, but you change them out every year. So I cut two fresh green ones and uh, we fixing the head up through here and I've got a few hooks that are still out from last year and a part of a trot line because the water dropped so I couldn't get over to where it was uh, later on when I come back to retrieve them. So let's, uh, we're gonna see if we can find them today. So let's get some limb hooking done. You see that patch of river cane? That is what I cut too. And then you see right here, I've got one there or two actually right there in the camera frame and we'll just tie a limb hook on them. That furthest one is a little high. I may have to redo it, but it's hard to get them things in there, especially in a canoe. All right, on these, these river canes, I just do this loop that I told y'all don't do. No, nah, I, di I didn't really say don't do it. It just ain't my favorite way of, of doing bait. Oh, uh, now we're going to... I have got one crawfish. I brought one hot dog wing. Y'all, I struggled to get bait, and I ain't gonna lie. I ain't one of them folks that, you know, wanna keep everything a secret and act like everything is all great and perfect. I'll see that limb trying to get me. Let me get to my bait here. I'm just gonna cut me a slab off, and I, I, I be all that Nesmuk knife. It's all right. It ain't my favorite thing. I'm fixing to cut me up. That's probably about all I need for the day. I just brought the whole thing. Let me turn the camera down where you see what I'm doing. I'm going to pack that stuff. Now that crawfish, he went right down. Well, I don't know where he went. You want to know the truth? He may have clam clambered, clambered out. It don't matter, but I got a hot dog, Wendy. I'm going to use it too in a little bit. And I'll be covered with blood because of this. But I use my paddle hen for a cutting board. And y'all, I don't, I, you don't need big old pieces of meat. Not on these hooks. They're going to be after the smell and whatnot anyway. So I, I like to use live bait. But when this is all you can get, this is why when you're cutting up old deer meat and processing it yourself, you get the catfish bait out of it. So I'm going to lay that right back down on there. I gotta pull up here and do the other one. I think while I'm sitting right here though, I'm gonna go ahead and get my limb hook out. I did not bring the roll of big hooks today. And a lot of these are shorter hooks, but now they work good. I, I caught fish on them last year, so. Well, sir. Okay, I got it. I'm at least gonna get my hook on it. You have to be careful or you'll hook it right there. I'm gonna get my cutting board up here. You gotta learn to work fast in this daggum canoe now, y'all. I'm gonna fool around right here and lose my well, sir, that is some stringy stuff. Man. But this deer liver is very solid. It will stay on the hook good. Make sure you get that hook exposed now. All right. We'll kick some catfish right there. Let's ease on and see what we got going on upstream, boys. I'm telling y'all, it feels good just to be out here in the canoe. 
y'all that tree coming up right there in front of you. See that little straight limb sticking out to the side? Last year, I caught more catfish off that one limb. I mean, y'all, oh, we finna definitely put a hook right there. Break some of this junk out of the way. We're gonna use one of these new hooks I got that we just made. Uh, I wanted to see how well they gonna work. And I think this is a good place to set it up. All right, now. And I may put that old big crawfish I got on there. I don't know, though. I hate... Let's see. And now, some of these, y'all, like on these little old limbs, I am going to loop them like I told y'all I don't do much of uh, because it... It, I can just do it real easy. Oh. Let's put... Let's just put this other piece of liver I already got cut on here. I, I done found one of my hooks. It was, it was a little high up out of the water and... and probably should have been had something done with it but somebody had done cut it <laughs> you you run into a lot of that though when you fishing where they can be a whole lot of other people fish you're gonna deal with that kind of stuff hook that y'all i left old brody mad as a wet hen at the house Oh, that boy was not happy at all. He wanted to go, and uh, I felt so sorry for him, y'all. He, he was crying alligator tears. But you see how I'm tangled up in this kind of stuff? I can't bring him in this canoe. Now, I might can come and check lines with him. I don't know. I'm just a little nervous about it. I'm nervous about him being in this canoe altogether. I, I'm not worried about losing him uh, because I'll put a life jacket on him, obviously. Um, but it scares me because if he was to decide he wasn't gonna mind me and get to plundering around and fall out, it might scare him. And he and then he not wanna come back fishing no more down here. I don't wanna traumatize him, he's a little young. But y'all, the last week, he has made nearly every step I have made. <laughs> Ever since my trip to Alabama, he ain't let me out of his sight long. I'm looking for, I had another limb hook somewhere right up here on a tree, I think, that I couldn't get to, so maybe I'll find it. Y'all, I'm already hearing some more. Uh, bullfrogs. I'm putting very small pieces of this liver Oh, I like to drop my knife, y'all. I went back to that. This, y'all, this is going to be my knife of choice before it's over with, just for every day. I haven't got my bowie sheath yet. I ain't had time to uh, build a sheath. Got to get that done. I got a couple of knife blades I got to make for a fella. He's wanting to put his own handles on there, which I applaud that. He does really good work from what I've seen. If you're still interested in me making patch knives or whatever of these knives, email me is the best way. Or get on my Facebook where you can actually talk to me. I'll be glad to do that for you for a small phenomenal fee. Put one right here in this middle behind this tree. Well, that limb broke off, so I don't want to be putting one there. <laughs> you have to test that stuff. You come along, old big fish, I have it broke, slam off. Now, Roscoe, watch where you paddling, son. He's about to run us into a tree. Is this in here? See, that's dead, too. That's all dead. I could get one right out here, though. We're gonna have to put one of these old big ones on. Old long daddies, I call them. And what you do is you reach down in that pipe and you pick it up by the lid. And then you can just unroll it like that. 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, booger bear, booger bear. Uh, all right, now. Better get me a little more slack here. I like to tuck that knot right up under my line when I'm doing this. I don't know. I know y'all like to look. I, I know. I'm trying to stay on top of that. Let me cut that straight. Lay it down there, and then I'm going to cut it in half. I don't, I don't need all that on one bait. I don't know how long it's going to be before I can find good live bait. <laughs> all right. It, it could be a while. And see, I like this paddle right here because I can pull that and tell, hey, if that's tangled up or not, and it is a little bit, see, and then I straighten it back out. Ain't that straightened out good. I, I ain't sure I'm a fan of the way I got them set up yet. We're going to see how they produce. All right, get me a, let's see. I think we're going to do do one of these. Let's see. I done got mud all over. Oh, look at that mess. Good Lord. Where's the end of this thing? Oh. And you always got to tangle at least one or two of them up or you ain't fishing. Oh. Look down there. I'm going to go ahead and hang this piece of bait on it. Because I'm going right up in yonder with it. Put it right there in the floor. All right. See if we pipe it right up here. I want it on this down side of this because you see all that brush up in there? And all that'll make a mess. We ain't care. I think Roscoe's a little nervous acting about it, ain't he? You know what? I think I'm gonna put it right out here. Way out on this edge. Y'all see that crawfish down there looking at me? Gee. All right. Get right in there. Mm, I think I want it on this part right here. I wish I hadn't got nervous and chewed my fingernails on. Right. Just like that. Wash my hands off. Alright, I got this. This is where we're going to wind up with this big crawfish right here. I don't know where I put him. He'll probably pinch me good before I get him hooked. You want to go in the tail like that and come out before you get up into the body. That way he stays alive. Now, he may be big enough. He fight them old catfish off, reckon. All right, I'm going to film this one here too because y'all watch that line. You see it go down right there and then it gets slack. I, that's what I wanted to do with these is be able to find that bottom. So now I know how far to pull that back up. And my boat, y'all, this thing. Do it again. Cause now the, right there is the bottom. So I want to come up just a few. And really it wound up about perfect. I'm trying to keep y'all in frame. I'm experimenting with this chest mount. Now, I had already baited that. And so, Y'all, I have seen a few fish jump. Now, I don't know if it's gruntle, gar, bass, or what.
if I can get over here. I'm going to put it right in there. Right, we got to break some of this mess out. So when I come up here to get in my... Throw it all out of my boot. Because when I come up here getting my fish, and we know we're going to be getting fish, I'm going to be fighting all that junk. So what I'm doing right now, I never did tie a loop, y'all, on the end of that. You see how I found that bottom? I really don't need a loop on it, but I like to have one. I don't know why. Just tradition, I think, most of anything. And it ain't got to be perfect, because like I said, right there is the bottom, so I need to come up. Ah. I don't know. I'm on a little bit bigger piece than that. On this one. On this one. Because I got a little bit bigger hook. So we'll gear it towards a little bit bigger fish. And y'all, I ain't... I used to put on a big old gaudy piece of bait. I kind of got away from all that. I'm checking the water. It's deep right in here. I'm thinking about putting one on these little old bitty flims and limbs right out here. For I think I will. I mean, they, they ain't going to catch nothing in the boot. Uh, so, if I can get that rascal untangled and then let's get it over here and, uh, and get it in the water. And now I don't know why I don't tie a knot around the egg sinkers where they don't slip up and down like a... Oh, boy, that is deep. I need it down there closer to the bottom. Oh, the only thing, my problem is I don't really like leaning over in this canoe next to the water level. In a John boat, it ain't quite a problem. Oh. But I'm gonna tie it right here on the lower part of this limb. We're gonna tie it a little bit up right here. We're gonna wrap it around there and tie it real good. You know, like Marcel tied that, that rope around that piano. What y'all doing hiding behind them bushes again? Y'all was doing that last year. The time I take y'all fishing, y'all get over and go to hiding behind limbs. You know, what are you scared of? 
This old Marcel, he tied it, got his helper actually tied that rope around that piano up there. We're gonna put a hot dog on this one. Said they tied it around that piano real good. Said it was upstairs and they was trying to get it down. Said old Marcel said, I know what I'll do. Said he went up there and nailed a block and tackle up on top of the roof. Run it in the big bay window, wrapped it and tied it around that piano real good. <laughs> and uh, said he told his helper, James Lewis, said, all right now. Said Marcel got down there on the ground and wrapped the other end of that rope around his wrist. Said, all right, y'all shove it out easy and I'm gonna ease it down. Said James Lewis eased it out the window and said just as that piano started down, said Marcel started up, had that rope around his arm. Said he passed that piano about halfway up and his head hit that bully up there. Whoom, said that piano hit the road, busted into a thousand pieces. Whoom, said Splinters just covered the whole street. Said Marcel fell right backside down in all that busted up piano. Said, here come his heifer running down the stairs. Old James Lewis said, Marcel, oh, Marcel, slapped him, said, speak to me. Said, Marcel opened his eyes and said, why should I speak to you? Said, I just passed you twice up there and you didn't say nothing. <laughs> if you're having a terrible day and you can't turn on some Jerry Clower and feel better, you got problems. Jerry Clower is where it's at, fella. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna hook that to the side of my b -b 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 boat here. Let's whack us off. Healthy piece of this liver right here. I feel like it, it, it probably we'd catch more if we had some onions on it too, Rig. A little gravy. I feel like it'd work better with gravy. Y'all, I'm itching for in the next little while, if it, the bank would dry up, where right now it's just mud everywhere. But if it dries up a little bit, the water keeps getting down, well, I'm gonna come spend the night, camp out. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to try to put any more out today because uh, I'm probably going to leave some of these and run them over the course of the next uh, couple of months. So I may make more to carry to another place. I don't know. I may come down here and pull them all out. I hate to leave. Hey, hey y'all, we may have a fish. We, we may have a... Yeah. Y'all, this this right here, remember me telling y'all about this limb? I didn't want to pull that, that one with the fish on it too hard. I mean, doggone y'all, we done caught a fish. That's the first one we put out. Look at him, y'all. That's the first. No, it ain't the first. Because the, uh, and we got our bait back. Look, see our bait dangling on there? That's about to... Biggest part of the size we're going to catch down here. Now, I did catch some big ones last year, but now that hook right under y'all has produced for me. I mean, I'm good mind to put a nothing over here on another limb because it has caught fish. I'm going to lay it back here behind me. Doggone, I like that. Now, I like when, I, when I'm catching fish before I get through putting them out. So we're going to come back and run them this evening. I'm seriously thinking about hanging a nothing right here on this limb. Y'all... We may have us a fish right here. And we got somebody in the boat with us. Yes, me and Wash and Dad. It's, so we got him suited up. I'll take a camera where y'all look at him here in a minute. Oh. Whoa, he come off. Well, do tell. We had a fish on there, too. And he come off. I mean, he was just pulling on it. Yeah. Well, sir. Maybe. 
Well, he might be on there when we come back, Greg. Mm -hmm. Brody, what are you doing? Huh? Turn around, look at Daddy. What are you doing? You in the canoe with Daddy? Yeah. You being staying set down? What? That tree don't have no big tree on it. Yeah, it broke off up there, didn't it? You sat lying over there. Look over here. Look up under them bushes. Is it no, I don't believe there's nothing on it. We ain't a doing real good today. I think we are. You think we are? We out here fishing. We doing better than most people, ain't we? That's just bushes and limbs. Y'all, we did just put out a trot line across down yonder. I didn't film video. I edited a part of this video. And uh, it's done getting long, so I'm trying to. We're going to probably re-edit it, see if we can whittle it down some, because I don't want to get too many folks crying. Most of y'all don't care, but there's a few. They'll go to boohooing if you get it, make it too long. I got a line right yonder, but they ain't nothing pulling. But now I tell y'all, these catfish will bite better tonight. They'll come up and go to feeding in some of these areas. And uh, and what we fishing with is not ideal bait. We did have another crawfish, and Brody made us put it on the very end of our trot line, didn't we, Brody? See, so anyway, y'all, we're going to paddle up through here and take a gander at these other hooks. You hear it? Who down? He said, a who, a who, a who are you? It's just me. <laughs> it's just us. It's just me. Say, we are your friends. We are your friends. <laughs> Ask them would they like a catfish for the supper. Like a catfish for the supper. Uh, that's a nice. Oh, I didn't want none. All right. There you go. You about to get it figured out. Yeah. I think Brody's got a fish right here on this one. Look in front of you. I believe we do. I believe we do. Okay, let it sit still. Watch him from here. Look in front of you. Look. Right there. Right in front of you. Look at this limb. Brody, look right there. Is that limb? You said limb jerking? Yeah. Yeah, well, that jerked you out. Yeah. Limb, limb, limb. Oh. A kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm, things are looking up, Mr. Brody. What is it? It's a catfish. All right. Y'all, look, we got us a catfish. Ow. All right. Let's get you out of this limb line so Brody gets a hook in him. Look. Untangle that from your buckles. All right. Let go of the limb. Are you let go of it? You are, ain't you? All right. Can you. Gotta get y'all. That has been my biggest concern right there is keeping Brody safe in this ordeal. Wait, 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 wait. Well, we hunting a uh, we need another piece of liver now, Brody. What? What's a liver? That's what we were fishing with. 
I need my cutting board. My cutting board? Yeah. Why you need it? Well, we need a piece of bait. We don't use him for bait? No, we're going to use the liver for bait. For bait? Yeah. We just lost a knife. What, what? Uh, Y'all, I just dumped my knife off of this paddle. Sure did. <laughs> well, I got the brand new cast iron skillet over here fired up. I poured my grease in there. I am going to try to clean this one up a lot. The outside of it is what's nasty. The inside is perfect, seasoned well and all. But I'm going to try to do something with this outside while I've got the grease out of it and then this one. And uh, that's going to allow me to help season this one on the inside a good bit. And uh, we're going to fry these fish in it. So, uh, but we'll do an in-depth cooking fish video here before long. We're going to try to do it over some open flame. But today we fired it up on this gas cooker. Uh, it's up to about 200 degrees right now. We're going to let it get to 250 before we drop anything in it. Uh, I'm going to take a magnet down there. I've got a big old speaker right over here. We're going to take that down there and tie it to a rope. I'll be able to get my knife back. It's going to spend the night in the creek. I hurt my feelings. But anyway, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.